Good morning, nation. Hey, 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 hey. You got Keith Phillips, you got Chris Keach, and you got C. Marty Fitt. Gentlemen, <laughs> we are here. It's a Thursday morning. It is, we're dating the show, guys. It's Thursday, January 6th. Uh, January, did I say January? January 6th. I got to get close to the... To the to, to January the- 6th is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Marty, I got to get close to the clock, man, because I'm getting old every single day. My eyes are getting smaller, I think, or something like that. And I think, hey... We got somebody in the comments. I think it might be. Oh, the future is here. We got the future. The future has arrived. Enzo is joining us here this morning live all the way from New Zealand. And gentlemen, I think we have a comedian in the green room. I I, I stumbled upon somebody's feed yesterday who made me laugh. And then I made a repost. and I'm like, hey, we got to get this person into our feeds a little more often. Amy Jinden or Ginden is joining us in a few moments from the from the green room. She's creating content, guys, that's going to change the face of LinkedIn. Yeah, true story. She's creating content that's going to change the face of LinkedIn. You watch. You watch. Yes, Enzo, you are the future coming up. And we have Giorgio, Giorgio Ganoli or Noli coming up in a few moments as well. We've got the accountability check at the 60-minute mark. And, of course, we get the topic of the day. Keech, topic is what? Topic is... Our nightly routines. Get ready. Yeah, because yesterday we talked about the morning routine, Marty, and you talked about your morning routine. We dug into it. So today we're going to go opposite. We're going to go to the nightly routine and uh, and have a good old good old chat. Enzo, I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing today, Enzo? How are you doing today, Marty? How are you doing today, Keech? I'm amazing. I can't complain. Well, no point in complaining. Who's listening? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. Uh, good morning, nation. That's right. Glad I can you. wake up with you. <laughs> oh, we're glad you're here, Keech. We are glad you're here. And listen, why don't we just get right into it? So, guys, yesterday I was going through my day, preparing for today's show, just preparing away, doing my day, and all of a sudden I got this bing, notification. Nope, notification. I see Kraski's pointing something. Kraski's posting something on LinkedIn. He's like, oh, hey, I think it's time for another Kraski creator rankings. And I'm go, oh, okay, that's how it's going to work. So, Nation, you know, John and I do not coordinate these things. Nope. We, we do not coordinate them. Out of the blue, I got this. We're doing Kraski Creator Rankings. I'm like, all right, let's get after it. So within an hour, Nation, we were knocking on everybody's doors like Giorgio and Amy and everybody else and said, hey, come on down to the lab this morning. Come join the show so we can celebrate you and uh, and shine the light on you guys from Kraski Creator Rankings, John Kraski. I don't suspect John's going to join us today. I got him out of bed once this morning this week, guys, at uh, whatever it was, uh, Marty. We got him at what, 3 o'clock in the morning, I think it was, something like that, but... He doesn't have another training session this week. <laughs> well, he commented on how cute his trainer was. So unless his trainer got him out of bed because she's really hot, then, you know, who knows? But uh, speaking of Kraski and uh, all the love John was shaking, my man, uh, you know, I'm going to flip the screen on here in a second to somebody who he uh, introduced me to uh, through my feed. And her name is uh, Amy Gindon. Uh, and I'm going to get full pronunciation on her name in a second here. But guys, I stumbled upon her feed. And she's making content that I believe is for tomorrow's LinkedIn, just like we are. So, Nation, I'm going to tell you guys something right now. If you're making content like like Justin Welsh, love you, Justin. If you're making content like Laura Costa, love you, Laura. If you're making content like Sahil Bloom, love you, Sahil. You're making content from 1998. If you want to make content for 2028, you want to make content like we're making and you want to make content like this human being right here is making Amy Ginden. Amy. Hello. The lab. Wow. That sound effect. Yes. Me and Marty bring the board. Marty, you going to up me on the board today, pal? What do you got today? Nope. Oh! <laughs> 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 so nation i stumbled upon amy's feed yesterday and she is a comedian in a box I- i'm suspecting she wakes up every single day with the purpose like we do to entertain and inform all you guys you got to find her feed amy is it Ginden or Jinden? it's Ginden. amy Ginden is one funny i'm not gonna swear marty she's one funny mother <clears throat> thank you because my son is home <laughs> yes i was cognizant so i was gonna run a clip marty keach this morning that, uh, that Amy ran yesterday or the day before on LinkedIn. And I must have laughed nonstop. What's up, Amy's son? What's up? 
That's Wes. Hey, Wes. Hi. He's going to make a cameo on one of my videos. Oh, up. that's spectacular. That's, that's exciting. So Marty Keach, I saw a video yesterday from Amy. If you guys have not seen it yet, I invite you to watch it today. It's going to make you laugh. And that's why I call out, you know, all my friends. I was joking, you know, the Lars, the Justins, the CEOs. It's great. You guys are all making great content. But I got introduced to the video feed yesterday on my LinkedIn uh, phone. And you can really see the future. Like, it's, it's clear. Like this, We're going video. We're going video. The video is the future. So Amy is embracing it. So are you Amy, playing the video? I, I'm not going to play the video because there's okay. some cuss words in it. And I don't know. Oh, oh, she's okay. seen it. It's okay. It's bleeped out. Oh yeah, it is. Bleeped. Okay, well then, so you know what? I am going to play it. Yes, I'm going to go get it. Uh, Amy, why don't you take a quick second to tell Nation a little bit about who you are? What got you into video? Why the video? Why the comedy? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Yeah, um, I have a lot of different backgrounds. I was a film major turned therapist, um, and I so I was a therapist for a number of years, thinking I couldn't really make a living off of film and had a real passion for helping people and a passion for psychology. I burnt out from therapy and then I ended up going into marketing for about 15 years because I felt like marketing was like the psychology for business. And in marketing, I learned, you know, how important it is to delight and entertain and not just inform and that no matter who you're talking to we're all humans at the end of the day and we all want to laugh and we all want to feel and so in february i actually left marketing to start my own leadership coaching business for women and a lot of what i talk about is really serious stuff and it can be a real downer and so i thought like why don't i bring back my passion for film my passion for comedy and create videos that are going to start conversations, hard conversations in a really disarming way. And so I feel like a kid again. I feel like I'm back in college making videos and it's it's really been a lot of fun. And people are loving it, which I'm <laughs> psyched about. So I, I'm going to play this and Georgia, we're bringing in here in a couple moments, my friend. I see you sitting in the green room patiently. Thank you. So Nation, I'm going to try to play this. I'm going to see if, it, if it, can see if you guys can hear this. Can you guys hear this? Good. Hey. Hey, Amy. Why are you whispering? I figured out how to make your job so much easier. You know what you should do? You're going to tell me whether I want to hear it or not, aren't you? You should organize your emails by date and flag the important ones. It's a total game changer. Yeah, thanks. I'm all over it, so. Or better yet, you should color code your sticky notes by urgency. That's what I do. Yeah, you know, I'm not really a sticky note person, so. You know what you should really do? You should get a motivational poster. I've got one of a cat hanging from a rope that says, hang in there. You know what you should do? You should shut the f up and mind your own business. <laughs> Should I get that? Or? Yeah. Should that. I get that? <laughs> <laughs> that? That is well that, done. Amy Gindin. Amy <laughs> Gindin, one of our Kraski Creator Spotlight uh, feature creators this morning. She helps women become senior leaders, She's a leadership coach, keynote speaker, clinician turned executive, featured in USA Today, Stat News, EBM. Joins us from the awesome city of the Bruins the Boston Bruins. And uh, so a little bit of humor with Amy this morning. Amy, that is funny. Shit. Thank you. We, I've got one coming out every Tuesday all summer long. So stay tuned. That's so wow. Marty Keach. I'm telling you when, when you guys get access to the new LinkedIn video feed, and then when you see the content Amy's making, you see the stuff Kraski's talking about, you see the stuff we're making it's really clear. Like it's so obvious what the future is. Like Amy, don't you agree? Like honest to God, don't you agree? Oh yeah. I mean, I made funny videos for a job a couple of years ago and I put them out on LinkedIn and they kind of died. Like I was like too ahead of my time. Yes. And now I think, especially with the video tab on LinkedIn on the app, Yes. Really trying to keep up with the TikToks and the Instagrams, and and um, I think it's going to be an exciting time over the next year. We're going to see video take off on LinkedIn. I would agree with you, Georgia. Welcome you to the to the to the lab here, my friend. Going to tune the, turn the light on you in a second here. I just want to address uh, Amy's comment, Marty and Keach. You know, I was talking to you guys before about some folks I know that are creators on LinkedIn that that spend time on Instagram, TikTok, finding popular videos. 
downloading them, bringing them over to LinkedIn, creating an appropriate post for this super hot viral video on LinkedIn. I'm sorry, on Instagram and TikTok. There's human beings over there. And those video comes over here, same human beings to the video. And guess what happens? So I, 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 it's not really hard to see what's obvious. If you're making a viral video over in that room and you bring the viral video over this room, there's humans here, it's probably going to go viral again, right? So it's hard not to see that the future is video. It's really hard. So I would encourage you guys, if you're creating content, don't step into the past when you're creating content, introduce yourself to the future. Go follow Amy Gindin. Go invest in yourself and create some awesome content and uh, create a TV show. Maybe you want to create a live talk show. Okay. We, we can help you with that. So, uh, hey, Giorgio. Hello. What is going on, man? Where are you coming in from today? I come from Italy. Oh. Italy. <laughs> yeah. oh. I, it's I afternoon see. here. It's afternoon there. Yes. Yeah, so it's not mornings there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think I see C. Marty trying to figure it out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm just thinking. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you need training, man. You need training. <laughs> I think we had, oh, we had Amy leave us. Amy, you left. We didn't get a chance to say goodbye to you. So if you're listening, come back so we can say goodbye. Uh, so, so Giorgio, what's, uh, so you're bringing us from Italy today. Congratulations on being named uh, one of the Kraski Creator Rankings. Do you know John or did John meet you in the feeds and, and, and so forth? And how did that all come together, my friend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. I felt honored to be mentioned. Uh, I didn't expect, honestly. So, very, very happy to to be in this awesome ranking. Yeah, nobody ever expects it. Actually, all of a sudden, we all just kind of get notified that Kraski is on the hunt, and uh, he's naming names, and people are like, "All right, I guess I'm being named by Kraski." And we just, you know, myself and Marty and Keach just became part of the Kraski movement, just somewhat by accident, I guess, at the end of the day. But it's it's been a lot of fun enjoying it. So. Uh, so Giorgio, we have an accountability checking coming up in a couple of minutes, but let's, uh, let's just talk a little more about yourself. So what do you do over in Italy? Yeah, I, I handle the CRM things. So I'm in passion with CRM. Do you know what is CRM? Oh man, I hate CRM. <laughs> Everybody hates CRM. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually opposite. I'm a nerd. I love CRM. I love it. My whole business was built on the fact that our CRM was so awesome that the company that bought us looked at us like, oh, you guys are neurotic. I'm like, yeah. Like, you guys got everything organized. All your I's are dotted. All your T's are crossed. You guys are neurotic about your processes. Yeah. And like, okay, here's more money. Oh, yeah. So I'm telling you guys, the, 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 the future to your business is make sure your CRM, the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. Hey, Giorgio? Yeah, yeah. I can tell from my family business. My wife is a dentist, so I'm a lucky guy. And uh, we grew a lot thanks to the CRM. So I took care of the business part, marketing, digital, that kind of stuff. And we leveraged CRM a lot. So our revenue were like <laughs> multiplying three per year by year. That's why I put that uh, multiplying two, three per year revenue thanks to the CRM. That's my my story, my family story. <laughs> there you go. So helping companies, you know, times CO to multiply your revenue via CRM. Sees Ancona Marchez, Italy. Hey, Keech, Marty, you guys been there? Never. No, Marches, no, never. I've been to Milk, Milk Italy and Venice, Italy, but never yeah. to uh, Marches. How do you say Marches? No, it's Mark, it's the region. Ancona is the city. Oh, Ancona. Ancona. There you go. There you go. Hey, Marty, you got to work on Enzo, man. He may fall asleep here, so just a uh, heads up here. So, uh, oh, he fell asleep before. Um, Enzo, dude. You got to get to 40 to 50 minutes so we can keep clocking the YouTube time so Keith and Marty and uh, Keith can get paid. Come on, Enzo. <laughs> <laughs> that's, on. that's the line right there, Enzo, 45. You got, you got to keep the stream on. You just got to keep the stream going. Uh, yeah, we got some uh, good, good moral weight tonight, of course. And yes, the few. Oh, hey, guys. Giorgio. Oh, you're in the future as well, Giorgio. So I know you're about seven hours ahead of myself and Mario, and, and, and we got Enzo joining us from New Zealand. Can you tell us anything in the future that's happened in between the gap of Enzo and yourself in Italy? Anything we should be aware of? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. No? I'm curious to see. Curious to see what's happening in the middle. Yeah, we're, 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 all, we're all curious as well what's going to happen in the future. Yeah, we're all completely all calls. So uh, what time is it over there in your world, Giorgio? Sorry? What time is it over there in your world? It's uh, 2 two fifteen. PM. Hmm. Yeah, interesting, cool. interesting. Keech. Mm. Marty, you guys got something for Georgia while I get our accountability check-in set up here? Yeah, Georgia, great content. 
Um, I don't, I think what you're doing is amazing. I think a lot of small businesses, um, need it. Can they reach out to you even in the West coast or East coast or how do you, how do you run your business? Yeah, I basically, as I come from company environment, uh, I tend to resonate to big firms, honestly, but thanks to my wives and to my family stories, I even get clients from small businesses and even coaches. Uh, I was even supporting coachings and solopreneurs. So uh, I can tell that I have really clients from all over the world. And I'm very happy about, you know, sharing this stuff about CRM because it's my passion and people are understanding that I love my stuff. I'm pretty aware about CRM space. I worked for Salesforce. So pretty, pretty excited about this, wow. uh, this journey. Yeah, I left Salesforce actually just two months ago for, for this career path uh, that I wanted to follow. Good for you. That's amazing, man. Thank you. Thanks. It's exceptional. It's exceptional. <laughs> well, Giorgio, at this point in the show, my friend, that we want to... Uh, oh, we've got some audio there. I think it's maybe Giorgio, is it? Maybe I'm going to mute Giorgio here. Boom. There we go. Uh, so listen. Uh, oh, Italy gets knocked out of the group stage in Euros, Giorgio. Yes, there you go. And uh, we got... Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Well, hey, Enzo, come on. Listen, just just turn it up, man. Just just keep us going on there in, 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 uh, in New Zealand. we got to keep the clock rolling. Uh, oh, here we go. Giorgio. Looks like Italy is going to get knocked out of the group stage in Euros by Giorgio. So uh, uh, that's coming up from Enzo. But listen, it's this time in the show, guys, that we are going to pivot our attention to. Oh, I don't sound working. Why is my thing now? There we go. No, it's not going to work either. Let's try this one here. Let's try this one. There we go. All right. It is our accountability check in. It's this time in the day where we like to shine the light. I'm going to do this guy. Do something a little different this morning. I'm going to do this. Do this, do this, and do this. And it's this time that we like to have a conversation around what is happening in the world of accountability and this idea of helping you get your day started. And I'm going to ask you guys this question. Does this sound familiar? You're thinking, what? Yeah, we fix on goals. We fixate on goals. Personal bests, promotions, launches, scores. Then life throws us curveballs. But it's often the best part. Curveballs, nation, they lead to creativity, resilience, adaptability, and they push us to grow. So remember, as you're going through your day today, first thing in the morning here, business athlete nation, you're joining myself, C. Marty Fit, Chris Keach, Giorgio from Italy. We had uh, Amy joining us from Boston. Think that curveballs lead to creativity, resilience, adaptability. They push us to grow. Remember, every twist is a lesson. Every setback is a setup for a comeback. So next time you're off course, pause, look around, learn, meet, grow, fall in love with the journey, Marty, and the destination, Keach, the destination is going to take care of yourself. And I know both you gentlemen on your journeys through your athletic careers, your professional careers, as I've gotten to know both you guys, you have very much focused on what I have admired about you guys is your love for the journey, not your fixation on the outcome. Let's talk about that for a few minutes, guys, because I think that's something that many of us get so focused on, which is the end, and we don't spend enough time focusing on what's happening along the way. Marty, comment on that, please, friend, my friend. Yeah, you got to you gotta fall in love with the journey. And um, a lot of people, you know, they end up falling off because they're so focused on the end. And obviously, I'm a fitness guy, so I can relate it to, to fitness. You know, you're so um, you know focused on how much weight can I lose in 30 days instead of let me build a habit habit for the next 30 days. So a year from now I can make a dramatic change and I can make a change for the rest of my life. So I don't have to keep losing the weight, gain it back, lose it, gain it back. Uh, and so um, a lot of people just focus on, Hey, I'm going to be sore or I don't like this exercise. I don't want to eat this. And um, you know, nine times out of 10, when you, get those thoughts out of your mind and, and it's like, hey, this is required to get to my goal, right? X plus Y is Z, but you're doing X, but you ain't doing Y, so you're not going to get disease. So you definitely got to fall in love with the journey and um, it's not sexy. Every part of it isn't enjoyable, but that's what's required. And just think about your favorite athlete. They don't enjoy the process either, but they do enjoy getting the ring or the finals trophy. So... It's interesting to hear you say that, Marty, because you're right. The, our favorite, our favorite athletes do not enjoy the process, do we? But mm -hmm. but but all we do is we see them on on the court at the end of the game, Keach celebrating the win, 
right? We see them on the rink celebrating the win, but nobody's seen them four or five o'clock in the morning, grinding, 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 and, and all that adulation about them, right? So. Absolutely not. Have you seen the LeBron work out? Mamba mentality. Have you seen Kobe work out? Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> exactly. It does not look fun. No, it's not fun at all. It's not fun to love. So, you know, I'm going to throw to you in a, in a second here, Keach, about your journey, but falling in love with the journey. And yesterday, guys, we had Fit Presenter join us. Thanks for joining us again, Fit Presenter. Process goals. Yeah, you're absolutely right. The fact that he's online working at 7 a.m. is a success. You're absolutely right, my friend. I look at it this way, Fit Presenter. If you've achieved nothing for the rest of your day, at least you can say you've got this done, right? You know, before we jumped into the live here this morning, guys, I got my, uh, I got about a 24, 25 kilometer ride in this morning. I feel good about myself. If nothing else happens, Marty, I've at least, exactly, I've at least taken care of my human. I got no regret for the rest of the day. Keach, what's your philosophy of falling in love with the journey? I know you've had your journey professionally, you, you know, as a pro athlete, you know, school pro athlete. Now your journey is a, is, is a high profile financial services advisor. Talk about your learning how to fall in love with the journey instead of focusing on what the end's going to be. We don't know what's coming kind of thing. I mean, uh, when we try to, to tell ourselves what we know, you know, God laughs at those who make plans kind of thing, you know, because life is really like, you know, the ocean. We're, we're so constant wave. We go up, we crash, you know, but the wave is continuously coming back. It's regrouping. The power source is coming back. So whatever happens, you know, you hit the home run. For me, I was pitcher, so I close out the game. I strike out the last guy. It's great. But you got nut the next day. I mean, baseball has 162 games. So, you know, it's constantly up. It's constantly down. It's the same in business. My boss, uh, who also played in the NHL, always says it's business cycles, Chris. It's business cycles. You know, you're going to be going up. You're going to reach the peak. What happens at the peak? You start coming down. These cycles of our life, uh, we don't know what's coming. Uh, you can try to time the market, right? As many finance guys try to say, but it's more about seeing the big picture. It's more about, as C. Marty's talking about, that journey of just keep putting in the in the time and you're already successful. As uh, our friend, uh, the FIT professor said, he's already successful. He, he got up, he's already doing it. I mean, if we're all already successful, if you tell yourself you are, it's not about um you know the results you know it's about actually like the progress of where you're going because like i said you might have a great game one day yeah but if you ain't having at least you know 70 percent good games then that's all that really matters it's true it's true and, and myself and c marty we focus on the 80 90 percent rule right take 10 days be really successful eight nine of them ideally nine you're going to crush those 10 right so in baseball three out of 10 you're in the hall of fame there if you, you get hit, if yeah. you get a hit three out of 10 times, if you close a deal three out of 10 times, guys, you're in the Hall of Fame. You're in Business Hall of Fame, too. All right. That's what I, I it got, is. I got nothing to say to that. We'll leave that to hang out there. Three out of 10. That's not mediocrity. That's Hall of Fame material if you're a baseball leaguer. So that is this morning's accountability check in. And uh, there's some sound effects to walk us out of the room, guys. So listen, uh, we're going to move our conversation over to today's daily topic, which is your nightly routine. But before we do that, gentlemen, I'm going to weave back into yesterday. Yesterday, we talked about the morning routine and what we all do. Marty, what you do to get your day set up. You talked about your six points. Keith, you talked about your points. I, I, I dived into a little bit of my points. But why don't, we, uh, why don't we pop this up here and have a little snap back at yesterday? We're going to focus today on routines and uh, crafting the perfect morning ritual. This morning routine topic is interesting. It's it's very it's on everybody's mind. A new setting was unveiled yesterday that I would encourage you guys. You might want to turn it on. People, writers, guilds are protesting. As you know, it's because of the AI. Everybody's going to lose their job. They're not going to have a future. Pensions and how are they going to live in retirement if their job is gone? Kind of thing. Yeah. So when you start your day with intention, you set yourself up to end it on a high note. just isn't about getting up and going it's about setting a positive tone for the day how you start your day can make all the difference being grateful just simply for that day allows me to reduce my stress i do try to do some type of physical physical activity prioritizing checking off my list time becomes so relevant except for the morning a good morning 
routine starts the night before. You go to bed with a positive affirmation. You go to bed laughing and, you know, because I've, I've always gone to bed with news or something just to kind of let my mind be kind of mushy as I go to bed. I will admit, guys, that I, I do start my day with my phone. Because for me, it is, uh, it's mental clarity for me. I, I got to do something physically, you know, for myself. And time is going to pass anyway. Science doesn't lie, right? So there you go, guys. That was yesterday. Yesterday show morning routines. We talked about our morning routines, some highlights. I know the audio is a little messed up there. I'm working on it. I know the sound, the music is playing a little higher than the voice, so I don't have to get all the feedback from you, Nation. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to fix it for today's highlights. But yesterday, the point was we talked about morning routines. And uh, so we're going to set up today's topic of the day. I'm going to start the conversation with uh, you, C. Marty. Uh, around what your night routine is, and we talked, and, and actually yesterday, uh, our, uh, our 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 one of our guests, uh, no, our guest, one of our listeners, fit presenter, talked about how he, Marty, starts his morning routine the night before, and how that is a critical function of his next day success. So, Marty, before we get into the science of it, and Keith, before I get to know what your night routine is, uh, Marty, what is, uh, how do you ensure success the next day with your nighttime routine, and what's the power of your nighttime routine, see Marty Fit. Oh, uh, one thing I like is to turn my brain off. Like, just relax. Watch sports, watch a show, watch a movie, scroll on my phone. You know, I, I like to be productive at night as well, but I, I, I want to turn the brain off so I can be productive the next day. Um, we're human, you know. So sometimes you you gotta you gotta shut it down for even if it's for 30 minutes. Just shut it down and enjoy yourself. Uh, def definitely do that. Uh, make sure I go to bed on time, which I'm, I'm, I struggle with some nights. Mm -hmm. But um, you 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 got to set the tone for the next day, the night before. That's big. And um, you know, I mentioned yesterday: cut the lights off, turn the, put the phone on the charger, turn it off, whatever you need to do. Um, turn it on D and D because we get so consumed in our in our phones. Um, another thing too, I want to eat a you know a certain amount of hours before I go to bed. Um, I, I, I get busy sometimes, so I, I do break that rule, but most nights, you know, two, at least three hours before bed, I, you know, I ate already. So I don't want to go to bed on a, on a, not a full stomach, but I don't want to go to bed with any food on my stomach, to be honest. Um, uh, so those are just a couple of things. And a lot of times, um, you know, I try to finish a gallon of water every day. So a lot of times I'm catching up and crushing that water before I go to sleep, unfortunately, um, which sometimes results in me getting up in the middle of the night and <laughs> so disturbing my sleep. But um, those are those are the the things that are big to me. Um, going to bed and setting the tone for the for the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. Uh, uh, I ran a poll yesterday, guys. Around uh, so right now we're talking about the power of the evening bedtime routine, nation. And uh, I ran a poll yesterday around physical exercise, mental unwind, productivity, prep, or self care. What were the what, which part of your nightly routine has the biggest impact on your well-being? And I'm going to re reveal those results in a moment. Keach, before I come to you, Enzo joins us and he says, uh, my nightly routine has changed in the past week and a half thanks to this show. Yes, Enzo. So we're still 30 minutes in, so you still be awake for our conversation right now. So thank <laughs> you for being awake. And, uh, and Enzo talks about it's a good thing, though, so he enjoys it thoroughly. Thank you, Enzo. Tell your friends to tune in. Uh, Keach, uh, when you wind down at the end of the day, do you put your phone down right away? How do you wind down 
you know, you're, you're, you're of a di even different demographic than I am. So as your day comes to an end, are you flipping the TV on? Are you flipping the phone on? Are you putting it down? Are you spending time with your wife? Are you going for a walk up that long driveway of yours? Or what's, uh, what, <laughs> what are you doing to, uh, to keep yourself, uh, what's the unwind routine for, uh, for Chris Keach? Yeah. So I get in the hyperbolic chamber. No, I'm just kidding. I, I'm pretty simple guys. I mean, oh, brother. I'm just, I mean, <laughs> nope, I'm pretty nope. simple. Um, <laughs> uh, but, I mean, I play piano. I think that's one of the things that gets me oh. relaxed is I will sit down and, um, I usually have music I have to play for that weekend. And my, you know, I play my church on the weekend, so I have homework basically, but that allows me to calm down, relax, think outside of what I'm doing in business or even my family or friends. Like it allows me to escape into a whole other world, which is actually important. Those other worlds that we create, uh, if it's healthy, it's so, it's so beneficial. So music for me, <clears throat> number one, uh, allows me to kind of see the big picture. It allows me to relax. Uh, number two is definitely talking with either my wife or my friends, having some type of open connection. I'm just a people person. I like talking. I like, um, I mean, look at me, I'm on the show, right? I like, I like being around other people communicating. I'm a storyteller. Um, so I have to tell stories. That's what I'm, I'm, I have to do. So <laughs> I tell stories about the day, uh, uh, what I'm feeling or thinking, all those things are important because it's setting up my next day. Um, and in the moment, it doesn't seem like it's anything. But the next day, you know, whether I'm in a meeting, I, I have all these things that I'm, I'm going through that I can look back on. Oh, I was talking about that with my wife last night or I was talking about my buddy. And um, th those are great. I mean, that's what life's all about is communicating for me. So, I mean, I'm in the financial service business. It's all about talking. It's all about relationships and uh, most of the time, clients don't want to talk finance. They want to talk, you know, people. They want to talk, how are you doing and what's going on with you? Um, so I keep it really real. Um, obviously, I like to be grateful, uh, grateful for that day, grateful for the journey, as we were just talking about, and let go. Ultimately, I can't sleep if I'm still holding on to something. If I have an important meeting, I'm going to meet somebody who is way out of my league, you know, let's say I'm meeting an MLB player and I think I'm inferior because, you know, I didn't make it all the way or, uh, you know, how is he going to think of me or, but, you know, let go. All that jazz is meaningless. That's not, you know, we, we get ourselves so hyped up. I mean, about all these minute things, let go and, and, and get some rest because tomorrow you got a big day kind of thing. I tell myself that, you know, I, I make sure that, you know, I'm physically, I'm mentally fit, you know, I'm mentally fit for the next day. I prepare myself and I just try to sleep, let go and, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and relax. Before we get into the results of our poll, I'm going to get into some science around the conversation, guys. We're talking evening routines. Marty, do you have any, do you have a non-negotiable? Like, I know you have some non-negotiables. I know you have some non-negotiables in the morning to start your day. Do you have any non-negotiables for the end of your day that you have to absolutely get done before you go to bed every single day, Marty? Or is it a bunch of like moving let more lists and less lists before you go to bed? Talk about that with me. Yeah, it's kind of uh, up in the air at night. I mean, I, I mentioned the, that, that gallon of water. I got to finish my water. That's just yeah. like a, a personal goal for me. Um I guess I, I guess I can kind of answer the question, but 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 no no drama at night. So whether that's family, yeah, you know, cl clients complaining to me, we, I don't mm -mm, say that for the daytime. <laughs> so good for uh, you though. So so yeah. that so it sounds to me like you 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 take a hard stance on the mental aspect of the evening, which is as the as the day is starting to unwind, you're saying to your circle, you're saying to your own mirror, it's time as the as the as the clock is coming up on the evening you're saying to yourself it's time for the drama to get out of my brain well the thing about it is you know we all you know chris you, you do your business keith you do a lot of business obviously nine times out of ten there's something on our mind when we're going to sleep like we're eager about something we want to mm -hmm. do something better or we're looking forward to a meeting tomorrow we want to do well and so something so that's usually on my mind during sleep so i don't want to add anything to that i want to have a peaceful night before i go to sleep and yeah. 
a lot of the times the business stuff we just you can't shake that you know we're we're, we're ambitious guys yeah so we're just going to be thinking about it it is what it is it's so. true it's true yeah. Keach, what about yourself? Do you have a non-negotiable? I, I know you said you like to, you know, I know you said you like the piano. I know you're a man of faith. Like, are there certain things that before you close your eyes, you're like, this has to be done. Marty's got to get his water in. Like, what's the non-negotiable for you, Keach, before you wrap your day up? Uh, I don't really have any. I mean, I, I, I tend to just, I mean, no, I mean, I don't want to end on a bad note kind of thing. Yeah. So let's say, you know, wife and I are fighting or let's say I, my brother's making me angry. I'm going to talk it out. I'm even if it, it doesn't matter what time of day it is. I don't care if it's two in the morning or 11. I'm going to call you up. We're going to figure this out. I need to be at peace with my my people before I hit sleep kind of thing. Um, and I mean, you know, I pray I do all those things, um, but for me it's peace i think i need i need peace to be to to finally be like okay you know what i can let myself sleep now but until that moment like you know if i don't have peace like you know i'm gonna fight for it kind of thing i need peace i like that marty you know keach is sitting back going i need peace you know often you'll hear experts talk about you never go to bed angry with your wife or your spouse or your partner your husband sometimes And perhaps it's not necessarily peace, Keach, but it is just a recon it's just a moment of, okay, we need to take some time and start the day fresh tomorrow and then restart the conversation. A POV on that, Keach. Yeah, I mean, it's all about thinking the bigger perspective. So um I a hundred percent, Keith. I mean, uh every day it brings stuff up and uh, you know, we get so I mean, I get super stressed out about business or work or, or if I have 10 plans I'm working on and I have a deadline, you know, I take that home with me too. I mean, I work from home quite literally, but I also take that, you know, upstairs kind of thing. Yeah. And so there is, is there's a time to separate. There really is. You don't, being a successful business person doesn't mean you always have to be thinking about work 24 seven. So there's, there's a time to, to separate, you know, and, um, part, compartmentalize. Am I saying that word right? Compartmentalize, yeah. you know, yeah. our lives. Right. I, I believe, I mean, I'm not, um, uh, let's say a guru. Like, I don't know. It, that's what works for me though. You know? Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. Good morning, Sarvina. Thanks for joining us this morning on the show. Are you on the bus going to work? Uh, Sarvina is uh, joining us this morning, uh, all the way from sunny Winnipeg, Canada here this morning. So Sarvina, nice to see you on the show here this morning. Uh, we're talking the evening bedtime routine. Myself, C. Marty Fit, Chris Keach. Today on a day of celebrating some Kraski Creator Rankings, coming up to the Creator Spotlight here in a few moments. We got Enzo talking, Marty, about he stretches, uses a massage gun, pretty much does a recovery session to numb the legs, the body, to make him get a better sleep, which is a good segue to, gents, I, I put the poll up yesterday, which was, which part of your nightly routine has the biggest impact on the well-being? I gave four answers. I said, physical exercise, mental unwind, productivity prep, in other words, getting ready for tomorrow, or the last one is self-care. So four options. Which part of your nightly routine has the biggest impact on your well-being? Marty, which one do you think was the most popular way for people out of our responses uh, was to unwind at the end of the day? When I voted, it was 100% mental unwind. And that's what I voted to. So I'm going to go with that one. Yeah. Yeah. Keach, what about you, Fend? I would vote productivity prep. I, I forgot to vote. But, but that's your vote. Yeah. So, so you Productivity have... prep. That's me. Yeah. So you know, I'm a mental guy. I mean, I am. I have to feel mentally fit. That's like nighttime is mental fit time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So interesting. So for you, before you go to bed, you're thinking about, okay, I need to have my tasks ready to go for tomorrow. I know that I'm joining Marty and Keith tomorrow morning. Got to make sure I'm prepared for that. So before you go to bed, you're looking at your, maybe your journal, your document or your task list. You're okay, this, this looks good. I'm off, right? Is that how you work? 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then self-care. So out of the responses, guys, mental unwind was number one, uh, followed by physical exercise uh, and then productivity and then self-care. Uh, and I will have to say, I am not surprised that mental unwind is the number one. You know, it's uh, we, we, you know, we in society have talked much about 
mental health, mental wellness, uh, what these, uh, I don't know where my phone is, what these screens are all doing to our worlds these days and putting them down and, 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 you know, paying less attention to them. So, you know, when we, when we did a survey, it was this whole idea of mental unwind uh, being the most popular one, but gentlemen, what do you think the science is around a nighttime routine? Let's talk about the science. So physical exercise, it boosts endorphins, relaxes muscles, promotes better sleep. The obvious, the mental unwind Keech. Reading your meditation lowers the cortisol levels. Marty, we talked about cortisol yesterday a lot, right? And, you know, to start your day, get those cortisol levels elevate in the evening, got to find a way to bring the cortisol down. It calms the mind. It preps you for that sleep, right? So as, as Marty talks about, get rid of the drama, you get rid of the drama, you're going to get rid of the cortisol, right? And then, and then Keech talks with productivity prep. You know, if you plan, you're more than likely going to reduce decision fatigue for tomorrow. Like how many people lay out their clothes the night before? Marty, you lay your clothes the night before? I I don't, but I, I have clients that do. Yeah. Yeah. Keach, do you? Past 10 years, baby. Yeah. See, there you go. Right. And some of you like, hey, you lay your clothes out. You know, I, I know Lauren does. And I know, you know, I know that I in the past have, or at least had a mental awareness where if I can yeah, make I, the decision now, go ahead, Marty. I, I usually know what I'm going to wear or what I'm going to yes. put on. Yes. Yeah. This yep. is interesting because people think, why are you guys telling me what you're going to wear? If you think about look at look at guys like Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, some of the most successful business humans in the world wear the same thing every single day. It's a uniform. Why? So they don't have to think about what they're going to wear the next day. Yeah, you're right, Marty. That's it. Right? So it's like, yeah, less brunches, more crunches. He knows he's putting on a shirt today, Mark. You got to send me one of those shirts too, brother. I'll wear that daily. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Remind myself, right. stop eating, Chris. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. You don't need the cookie. <laughs> nope. <laughs> that's nope. it. That's it. Nope. 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 Uh, so we talk about the mentals. We talk about product. And then self care. Skin care and baths improve circulation. They signal to your body that it's time to wind down. So if you're looking to end your day, the good old idea of uh, some very much focused uh, self-care is, is maybe up on the agenda. And I'm going to suspect, gentlemen, if you focus on self-care, you're also going to help with that mental unwind. And hey, while you're focused on self-care and mental unwinding, you can, you can prepare yourself for productivity for the next day. So, And then Enzo. Enzo, as an athlete, needs to be physically fit for the next day, needs his body to feel good. For me, mentally, as the sun comes up, he resets every every new day is a Monday, the rest, the rest day. So uh, the reset day, I should say. So that's Enzo joining us from uh, from the future uh, when he talks about uh, uh, how he preps his day. So, gents, before we get into the creator spotlight quickly, what about some contrarian views about nighttime routines? And I asked our friend, GPT-4 Omni, our other co-host on the show, I said, hey, what are some contrarian views around night routines and marty what do you think of this so some would say a rigid routine at night keach causes stress i don't want to have a rigid routine i want to be flexible at night no i'm playing i'm playing, I'm playing. i love that <laughs> what about this one keach an overemphasis on productivity you talked about productivity. You know, if you focus too much on productivity every single night, every single night, Marty, can you lead to burnout? <laughs> I don't know, Keach. So here's the question, right, Keach? So, if, you know, because I will say maybe sometimes I'm burning out where I'm just every single night before I go to bed, I'm trying to focus on the next day, right? Trying to focus, 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 right? Uh, natural sleep patterns. Listening to your body, natural cues is a key. Right, so forcing a routine, gentlemen, nation listening right now, might disrupt your natural sleep cycle. There's something to think about, right? So maybe maybe being too rigid is not the right way for you. And then last but not least, gentlemen, we talk about being individual preferences and and Marty, especially in your world of fitness, where you know not everyone is the same. What works for one person, Chris Keach, might not work for somebody else. And I think we talk about it often here in the lab about just finding something that works for you. And then Marty doing what? Sticking to it, right, pal? Yep, consistency. The hardest thing, the, 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 the skill of life that takes no skill, consistency. Well, you know what else, Keith? Everyone's consistent. You can be unproductive 
and con- consistent at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's facts. This is you know, that, I, yeah. Here's here's my take on the contrarian views. I mean, as an athlete, as a pitcher, I did something so many times that it becomes ingrained in my na- in my body. I mean, I can't forget it. I could go outside right now and easily hit my target because I've done it so many times. It's easy now. Yeah. So why don't why is it not the same with everything else in our life? If you do things 10,000 times, I mean, there's a reason that's one of the most popular books in the world is because it's true. You do something day in, day out, it becomes ingrained in you. Mm-hmm. I don't care if you stop doing it for five years, it's still there. All those muscles, all those fibers, they're still there. So it's the same mentally, right? I mean, you learn something, it's there. That's why as a kid, if you learn languages early, it's ingrained. So, I mean, whatever routine that we're doing, if you're doing something that's productive, then it's going to pay off, you know, like every single time you do it. I mean, it's good to be rigid because then you have structure. And then if you have structure, you're putting in those 10,000 hours. It goes back to that, I believe. Yeah, I, I, I cannot disagree with that. Rigidity equals structure. Structure equals repetition. Repetition equals showing up, consistency, and boom, 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 boom. Uh, Sarvina talks about the fact that she selects her clothes the night before to save time for the next morning, and self-care is her important thing as well. 100%. I'm going to bet, gents, if we put a poll out, maybe we should put a poll here in the morning to, to, to sure. the Business Athlete Nation. How many people set their clothes out the night before to avoid the decision the next day to make life easier. Exactly. It's a mindless act that I love not to think about. <laughs> yeah, is that's fascinating to me. And some would say, you know, you know we're going to have AI help us get dressed in the morning because it's going to tell us what to wear. Uh, maybe, gents. Maybe. Maybe the, maybe the decision is just pull it out the night before. Like, Keith, you look better in red. So the AI is going to make sure every, all of your things are, are red, you know? That's it. That's it. That's it. Exactly. It. All right. So there's a, there's a conversation this morning, guys, on nightly routines. We talked about uh, Keech's routine. We talked about Marty Fitt's routine. Um, you know, my routine in the evening is these days is it's work, work, work. It's getting ready for the morning, making sure my task lists are done quickly get a number of hours of sleep in and then get back into the lab this morning. So, you know, I am going to openly admit on the show today that I'm not the best person these days, perhaps to have the, the most healthiest nighttime routine, you know, but I, I, I I'm not going to say it's not an unhealthy one. It's very disciplined. It's very boring. Marty, we talk about boring. I do the same thing every single night, you know, by seven, seven thirty till nine, 10, I work. Right. So I'm getting my stuff ready for the next day. And then I'm shooting for bedtime between nine and 10, ideally by between nine and 10, I'm trying to get my phone off or, or at least not phone, or if, if not off, just deviating to more relaxing activities on it, reading, kind of getting my head space for tomorrow, but, and then trying to get these eyes closed so they can wake up uh, this morning for the morning show to entertain all of you nation is what our ambition here is. So guys, uh, we'll wrap it up here in a few moments. Shall we flip the conversation to the Krasky Crater spotlight and uh, shine a light yes. this morning? Been waiting for that, Keith. Let's do it. All right. So it's this time, Jimmy. We are going to move over to the Krasky Creator Rankings. And Johnny made up a good old uh, slide deck yesterday. And his Creator Ranking was, uh, I think it was, uh, what was it? It was uh, the top. Let's have a quick peek here. So he talks about... uh, uh, this, so Kraski says, my favorite thing in the world, discovering new creators here. So today, the top 15 LinkedIn creators... He's never heard of until last week. <laughs> so, so if anybody wants to know how to get on Kraski's uh, list, just get in his comments. Start engaging. Don't, don't worry about getting a big pod and spending a bunch of money on LinkedIn guru juice. No, just go and engage with us. Come on our show. Come hang out with Keech. Come hang out with Marty. Come hang out with myself. Go go knock on Kraski's door. You know, go, go comment on his posts and there might be a chance you get selected to uh, spend some time uh, up on this show uh as well so uh oh that's not the right one we are going to do this here so guys i'm going to pull this up here uh how do i get this up on the screen here we're gonna slide this here we're gonna go this here we're gonna do this here all right so guys here is our Kraski creator rankings the top 15 linkedin creators that uh, john Kraski has never heard of until recently so number one we have guys how do I how do I tame this? Here we go. Okay, we have Kemi Khan. 
So Kemi is, I want to do this properly here, guys. I am going to, there we go. So Kemi joins us from Ontario. She's the director of marketing, travel, SaaS, property management person. So Kemi joins us at number 15 on the spot here this morning from Ontario. She's the director of marketing. We then have uh, Vlad, uh, I got I to gotta figure this out here. How can we get this better here so that we all can see this a little better? Uh, gents, gents, gents. Oh, bad radio this morning, guys. Here we go. We're going to do this here. We're going to put this up here. So there's Vlad, Vlad Bronkanov. He also joins us this morning on our Krasky Creator Rankings. Uh, Vlad joins us as well. We also have, uh, geez, I just can't get this sorted out here. Hold on a second here, guys. Selena Yankson. A oh, horrible, horrible this morning, guys. We've got Selena joining us as well. We have... Um, we have, uh, do, 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 do. let's just see here. I'm going to do this way. We have Vlad. We have Selena. We have Maya Walchak as well. Celebrating this morning on the Krasky Creator Rankings. Uh, we also have, I'm having a hard time, Nadia Bawa with the upside down picture as well this morning. She joins us uh, on Krasky Creator Rankings. It's funny, guys. When I saw that uh, John had posted this picture, like, John, her head's upside down. <laughs> But uh, her profile picture's upside down. So, Nadia, you're certainly getting people's attention because your profile picture's upside down. We have Owen Murphy. Owen was going to join us on the show here, guys, this morning. But Owen uh, got tied up in a, in, a, in a meeting this morning. So, Owen's going to join us on, a, on, a, on another show coming up. Uh, of course, we met Amy Ginden, a comedian. You guys are going to want to follow over on LinkedIn. She's making some great, funny content. Uh, the future of LinkedIn, Amy Ginden, making some great stuff. We also have Giorgio Noli. We met Giorgio this morning. Keach Marty, the CRM specialist, joining us all the way from Italy today as well. Great guy. Great yeah, guy, by the solid way. solid guy. Jose Osorios Suarez joins us as well this morning. Uh, he is uh, one of the Krasky Creator Rankings uh, one of the most amazing creators that John has not heard of until recently. We also have Neha Batia joining us as well. Uh, she is on Krasky's Creator Rankings. Jonathan Whipple was also going to jump in this morning, but Jonathan had some dad responsibilities, Marty. And I know you talk about uh, one of your pillars in life, which is being a father. You can appreciate Johnny was uh, was busy being a dad this morning, so he was not able to uh, to join us this morning on the call here. Jonathan Whipple, uh, of course. We also have Taiba Iram. Taiba was going to join us, but caught up in some meetings, so we're going to come back at a, a different date with Taiba. Uh, Steven Shills, Steven, uh, been enjoying Steven's content guys, follow Steven over on LinkedIn. He's making some great stuff. Speaks from the place of ADHD. Uh, he talks about his vulnerabilities around that creating great content as well. Steven Shills joining, uh, uh, the conversation here is one of the Krasky creator rankings, Rachel drunken Miller. Also guys creating great content on LinkedIn. If you're looking for some, a singer, you're looking for some funny, entertaining stuff. Rachel Drunken Miller is somebody you guys are also going to want to find and follow on the platform. And then, of course, last but absolutely not least, we surprised her yesterday. We pulled her up on the screen. And guys, I'm not sure if you guys saw what happened when we did it, but uh, Brooke Sweetar uh, was our Krasky Creator Ranking Spotlight yesterday. She came in. She came in on uh, John's number one list uh, as, uh, as Krasky Creator Rankings. Brooke Brooke Sweetar, she's a programmer, software engineer, boot camper. She's going to join us on the show next week, guys. I've been following her content. She's a lot of fun, great personality, uh, great content she's creating. Uh, although she is a cat lover, and I know Keech, you know, you got her back, so uh, we'll have to That's figure right. that out. But uh, Brooke Sweetar, so that gentleman. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. It's our Krasky Creator Rankings. And uh, Nation, I'm going to tell you all next time for the next Krasky Creator Rankings shows up, all Uncle Keith's going to get the screen better sorted out so we can see them a little better than today. So I apologize if you were called out. We didn't get the full name from time to time, but you're there. We're going to get this clip cut up and get it shared across LinkedIn. And I invite anybody listening to tune into those creators that are making great content. There's a reason they're on the list. They should be on your radar to help bring some different vibes to your LinkedIn life gents another show is coming to an end enzo's asking a question of you marty i know you are into basketball i know keach you are as well question from the future who is going to win the nba finals coming from the future i'm going to ask you marty fit first i got dallas i got dallas 
Oh, I got Boston. I'll give you the contrarian. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, there you go. Dallas versus Boston. NBA Finals. Keach versus Fit. And now uh, we, can, we can talk some trash now. Looks That's like, right. Looks like Boston have, versus Texas, baby. Looks yeah. like we have things to talk about coming up here in the lab over the next number of weeks, which is going to trash talk some NBA stuff here. So, gentlemen, another show in the books. Well done. Yeah. Another show in the books. We had a good conversation today around uh, nighttime routines. We started our show off, of course, with Amy Gindon. I invite you guys to, uh, oh, and of course, Enzo's going to join up here. Marty, yeah, Enzo's calling up on Dallas. So we'll have to see how. Uh, smart kid, smart kid. <laughs> I, guess, I, guess, I guess this is the proper sound effect for this. Oh, there we go. Just a good old. It's a rim shot, man. <laughs> Marty didn't like that. I think Marty likes this one instead. Marty wants this one instead. Hey. Oh, my God. Hey. <laughs> there it's like go. the dad jokes, man. Dad jokes, man. Dad jokes. All right, guys, before nope. we wrap up. The- <laughs> <laughs> Nation, we invite you guys to join us in the comments and join the conversation. Like our feed. Go to Mornings in the Lab on YouTube. Click on like. Click on notifications. We drop every single morning, 8 o'clock Eastern time. Keach joins us a couple times a week. Myself and Marty are working on him joining us a little more often than that, but I know he's busy walking up and down the driveway. And uh, so, listen, I saw a picture of, uh, of Keech's driveway yesterday. Marty and I are figuring out some workouts for him to, uh, yeah, to, that's get, right. to, to, to get the paper. So, I uh, actually, have to, at the end of yesterday's show, Keech started his journey to the top of the driveway, and he just got back this morning, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh-huh. Just yep. Got, he's just got to know Yep, oh, yep, yep. Oh, Chris, gotta do better, man. Oh man. I need I need you guys to push me harder. That's it. That's it. That's it. All right, around the table quick, around the horn. Uh Marty, what's going on today, brother? Work and workout. That's all. Good. And- good, good, good. I like that. I like that. What do you got going on today, Keach? Workout and work, baby. Yeah, I got a different day. I got some post production. I got to go to a lunchtime meeting with some uh with some folks uh, on, on the business side of my life, and then I'm off to a uh, a Chinese food dinner tonight, uh, a little event this evening as well. So well, Uncle Keith is... Uh, nice. No, he's losing hours out of his day, and Marty and Keith talk about what Keith likes to do, and Marty kind of knows what's going in his... I'm sure Marty knows what's going on in Keith's head right now. Hey, Marty? I get it. Trust me, I get it. <laughs> no, anybody who knows me well can read between the lines of what I'm talking about right now. So, uh, Sarvina, have an awesome day. Thanks for joining us on the show, and all of you that joined in for the first time, because Marty, Keach, yesterday after we shined the light on Brooke, and uh, she went out to her community and said how much fun she had on the show here. My followers, my connections went up yesterday. I know we had a bunch of new people join us on the show today. And from the bottom of my heart, uh, and I know I can speak on behalf of Keach and see Marty Fit, we are sincerely appreciative you've tuned in with us today. And we invite you back every single day to start your day with us. We are inspiring and trying to create conversation to help you guys get your day started, enjoy your day come from a place of goodness and end with a place from gratitude. So guys, let's get out of here. Let's uh, we're going to go on to our day. Keith, you have an awesome day, man. We'll, uh, we'll catch up with you next, over the next few days and we'll welcome you back here tomorrow. Marty, I'll see you tomorrow morning, pal. And I'll talk to you throughout the day as well. Okay. That's cool. I'll see you tomorrow. Right, Thanks guys. nation. We'll see you guys later. Ciao. Bye.